Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna test out the Titan X video card. We're gonna try mining on it on a different algorithms. We're also gonna try nice hash to see if it's worth it and uh, we can trust it again. And we're also gonna have to upgrade my current power supply to a 700 watt uh, power supply from EVGA because uh, my 450 not gonna make it, uh, especially because this video card is very power hungry. Before we start, I want to thank the sponsored video for today, which is Miner One. Miner One is a large facility for mining. You can join in with them as a crowdfunding and you'll be able to join some profits with Bitcoin. The benefit is they're not relying on the Bitcoin price, but they're actually mining Bitcoins themselves. So even if the Bitcoin will crash down to a very low price, there will still be some profit. I also like the fact that they have a credit card in the future where you can use your mining profits on everyday purchases you're doing every day. So that's really awesome. Check them out at miner1.io. All we have to do now is replace the power supply with the new one on the testing grid and then install the NVIDIA GTX um, Titan X. It has 11 gigabyte of GDDR5X. Um, it has a very good uh, video editing capabilities, which is good for me because I do a lot of editing anyways. But I do want to test it on uh, mining and see if it's any worth it. I did pick it up for pretty cheap. I paid $625 on Amazon and uh, it says like new, but I think it's brand new because even if you can see that little cover was still on it. So I think it was a brand new card, it's just uh, open box. You might be able to find the Titan X for cheaper because now there is the Titan XP and the Titan V, which is Volt. It's the new uh, uh, design by Nvidia that might even be better than all of those altogether. But uh, because there's other generations now, this one is a little cheaper. So let's go ahead and install the power supply and the video card. Let's go ahead and unbox the uh, 700 watt EVGA power supply. The one I had here before is actually 430 watts. It's uh, not quite strong enough and I don't really trust it with a Titan X. It has an on and off switch. That's the power cord. It has a bunch of connections which we're gonna need because um, Titan X requires two PCI Express. So we have one PCI, two. So here's one and here's two and a six plus two. So one of them requires eight, one of them requires six. So we'll be able to connect this no problem. Okay, I'm now installing the power supply into my testing computer. It's pretty small actually, it's pretty compact. I'm pretty happy with this. CPU power goes right here. There you go. Don't forget to power up your hard drive or SSD because you need that in order to power up a computer of course. And then next, we're gonna install the Titan X and power up the two PCIe Express powers. Now we're gonna carefully install the Titan X. Wow, that's a big card, man. Okay, let's hook up the power. Just one screw or two, up to you, to mount it to the motherboard. Here it is, it's all ready to go. It's funny, it doesn't say X, it just say Titan. But whatever, let's test it out. Hi guys, we're back and the NVIDIA GTX Titan X is installed as you can see. Um, it's running hot at 60 degrees. I might need to repaste this card because that's way too high for idling. And uh, we're gonna use NiceHash as testing. Now I can't really recommend NiceHash because people did last money and I lose some money too because uh, someone hacked to their website. I do use it for testing purposes and I can see what kind of algorithm I should mine and um, basically I can mine it on my own and then on a different pool, not on NiceHash and then get paid whatever coin it is. And I will test NiceHash for you guys and see if it's really worth it, if they improved on security, we don't know yet, it's still new. Um, I'll definitely um, you know, be careful using NiceHash for right now. I will use it for you guys and see if the payouts work 
and they do have a minimum payout of 0.1 Bitcoin. That means you have to make th over $1,500 or so, uh, depending on the Bitcoin price, to, to be able to get paid from NiceHash. So if you don't have a huge operation of mining, it might take you years to get that money back and who knows what's gonna happen in years, right? So if you have a huge mining operation, maybe it's something you can use. I'll definitely go ahead and test it for you guys. But if you are like, you know, if you have a few cards and you're just having fun, just go ahead and mine the, you know, mine whatever the, the coin you want to mine and then convert it yourself. So let's go ahead and test it out. Now, this cost, this card cost me $625, which is not bad for Titan X, but it is an older card. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see. It makes a very nice $4 um, a day and it's running on Lyra script right now and uh, four dollars a day is pretty good i checked it compared to some other cards and the 1070 is the most closest to compare to so actually the performance is a bit lower than we expected yeah not the best mining card in the world but definitely an option if you find it for cheap like i did and uh, i will leave a link below for the amazon link that i found and um yeah if you if you can find it for cheap it's definitely worth it it's mining great okay we're running on equihash and the uh, Titan X is pulling out $40 per month because it's almost 300 watts. That's a lot. That's one of the most hungry, watt hungry, power hungry cards I've ever encountered so far. So make sure you uh, calculate that when you check your profits because 42 bucks a month only on electricity, that's not cheap. So the Titan X then. It works, it mined pretty good, it actually makes profit, 80 bucks a month, that's not bad. But other cards might be better, like the 1070 or the 1080. Those two are about the same price of what I got it for, about 600, 700 bucks, or even cheaper at 400 bucks, but it gets you the same performance, so you get your money faster. This card does have more um, graphics RAM, it has 11 gigabyte of graphics RAM, if you need that for some reason and you do mining, and gaming then maybe that's a card for you but if you just do gaming and mining i would say maybe not the best card thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a comment below i'm gonna do a giveaway of some bitcoin cash to one of you guys on the comments and don't forget to like this video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet i talk about bitcoins and mining and a lot of cool stuff so click that subscribe and the notification and you will see every time i make a video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye